Good morning, folks. Grandpa Adler Farms, how are you? The sun has not even made it above the horizon yet, but it has sure given us a really pretty view of what it's going to be like. Look at that orange. That's gorgeous. I know I normally get you some sunrises. I am going to get back into that. But with the way the time change occurs and all that, these animals, right now it's about 7.30, they're ready to go. They're hungry. That's my top priority. So we got to get them going, but eventually we'll get some... Uh, We'll get us some sunrises, but that is going to be pretty. We've got some chores to do today. I've got a couple of things, three things I want to talk to you about. Two of them we'll get, get out of the way here pretty quickly. <clears throat> Let's get the uh, water on. Get that going. How's our Adler Farms family this morning? Everybody doing all right? I look forward to every video that we do. Have a little company feeding the, feeding the animals. Let's let the chickens out. Yeah, let's go open this door. Now the reason, hi girls. The reason we do not do the chickens first is that it takes a little time. I can go down and do the rest of the animals a little bit uh, easier because when we come back for the chickens, everybody out, everybody out, everybody out. Yeah, listen, let's get you a little scratch and then we're going to, okay, hang on just a minute. This will get you going, get you going right here. Hang on. I know. I know. Good morning, girls. Good morning. Here we go. Start on that. You know, part of getting them going and not taking the time to feed them right now, well, we got to do the wormy dance. And I don't want them, you know, if they're not warmed up and they're just getting out of bed, here they come. <laughs> they come following. I don't want them to pull a muscle doing the wormy dance. So we got to get them out here. There's big Nelly. What's up, Nelly? What's up? Ellie Mae, Ginger, Reba. All right, listen. Number one, retirement. Thank you all very much for the well wishes. Greatly, greatly appreciate them. I have not had anybody say that they ever regretted retiring. So some of you have been retired a long time. I think it's going to take a little while to sink in. Probably, I don't know, what, four weeks, two months, until you finally realize you're just not on vacation, right? Okay, so that re retirement-wise, Probably going to take me a little bit. I just haven't had enough time to 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 uh, let it all sink in. It still feels like I got to go back to work, and I know y'all know what I'm talking about. But thank you very very much for all the congratulations, and several of you out there retiring about now too. Maybe you retired six months ago, or you know something like that. So I want to wish y'all a happy retirement. Number one. All right. Number two. I was reported as Chad was for not turning on closed captions. Chad covered it in his video last night. Chad Adler Farms. His Thursday night video, he covered it toward the end and talked about he and I, because Grandma turned our last video on on uh, Wednesday, and within about 15 minutes, I got an email notification, I think, something like that. And it said, hey, so-and-so has reported that your video uh, does not have closed captioning. Like a three-paragraph deal, had like four links to click on. It said, you need to do this and do that. And, you know, I didn't panic. But I thought, man, what's going to happen? Are they going to take the video down? I've never had that happen before. So I, and I thought, is it just me? Uh, do I need, you know, did it happen to all my videos? So I went back to some videos that had already been put out and they were okay. So I thought, well, shoot, well, what, what's my go-to move? I called Chad. Hey, dude, what, what's going on? He said, ah, don't worry about it. YouTube makes that decision. He said, it'll take an hour or two. He said, somebody just got on there and either got impatient or, or whatever, got upset and turned you in. And I thought, well, all right, you know, I got it, I got it. So just so y'all realize, give it a little bit uh, if you don't have closed captioning on there. Now, it could be that this person usually waits to watch my videos, all right? Let's look at it the other way, you know? Maybe they wait to watch my videos a couple hours or so and it's always on. This time they flipped it right on, started watching, which is awesome, which a lot of you do. And there was just no closed captioning and they couldn't, you know, they're hearing impaired. Grandma is hearing impaired, folks. She wears hearing aids. She doesn't mind me telling you that. I think most of you already knows. We watch TV with closed captioning on. I have really good hearing right now, thankfully. But I also watch with closed captioning because, you know, I get to read and, you know, watch at the same time. And you really don't, you don't miss anything then, you know. So we always do that. And then when I go to bed at night, it's like Chad said, I lay there, I watch closed captioning with, the, with no volume, 
and I read and it makes me sleepy. So it helps put me sleep tonight. So closed captioning is a big deal to me. I want it on there. Okay. So when it wasn't, I, I thought, oh man, we got to get that, you know, what do I got to do? But YouTube takes care of that. And so I'm just thinking that this person jumped on there and maybe they felt like they were doing me a favor. Maybe they felt like, hey, you know, grandpa, closed captioning is not on. You need to, we, I'm going to do you a favor. I'm going to report it to YouTube and 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 they'll get it turned on because there'll be a lot of people need it that could be too so let's give them the benefit of the doubt a lot of you came to my defense you know how could they do that and i appreciate that and that's a great part about you guys as adler farms family you come to my aid and i really greatly appreciate that but uh it's okay now and now we'll know what to expect that's just the thing that youtube does okay uh YouTube, folks, I, I love doing YouTube. I love doing these videos. I love it that we can, uh, I know you guys, go, go eat a worm. Go eat a worm. Man, that's why I, I put this big area out here, no kidding. And these little stinkers, during the day, I don't know if it's like they have the sense of a hawk coming or whatever it is. Unless I go out there with them, they won't go until late in the evening. And it maybe has something to do with their instincts about a hawk could be you know a a, a a threat which is fine you know that way they're safe and everybody's cool but yeah uh, I have to kind of babysit them in the afternoon all right we got to get going here so that's the thing about the retirement and oh yeah one thing about the retirement you know I did when I left it was kind of weird uh, it was kind of anticlimactic you know I said my goodbyes and I walked out the door and I got my truck and I'm going, well, now what? I mean, I didn't feel this big yeehaw moment, even though, you know, I told you all to expect a yell. And yeah, there was one a little bit later, but maybe not. When I, you know, I didn't want anybody to know I was yelling when I walked out on the parking lot. But I did figure out I could do a little, the happy dance came a little later. So here, here it is. You ready? I'm going to make Grandma put this in there. This is how I feel now. I'm retired. I'm retired. The goats don't care. Smokey don't care. The chickens don't care. They don't care, but I care. I'm retired. Woo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> All right. Grandpa has lost his mind. Look at these goats. Look, 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 look. Oh, Ouija. Look at we look. They're sitting there, Grandpa. What's wrong with you? And look at Ouija. That just happened. He's stuck. Well, this video start, certainly got started out weird, didn't it? Yeah, Grandpa made it weird. Ouija, bless your heart. Looky here. Now, fortunately, he's tall enough now that if he gets st stuck and we don't get out here to find him, he just sits down. Buddy, listen, honey. We got, I don't, there's, there's so many leaves, plus his head is getting, hang on. Now I gotta do this. I know, hang on a minute. You gotta put, gotta get that other horn in, partner. Hang on, we almost got you. Hang on, that, that a boy. Okay, it's in, now pull your head out. Oh, these guys are just too much fun. Let's go in. We're gonna get Smokey taken care of and we'll show you how we do this. Now remember, you all are going, but Grandpa, the goats are down here. There's Batman. He's gonna eat all her food. Well, just hold on. Now, I want to set this down just like this in the bowl. She may knock it over. I don't know, but now watch. Kate, watch this. Look, he don't like that dog food in there like that. And they also know, hey, Smoke. How you doing, girl? How you doing, pretty girl? Huh, you okay? That's a good girl. That's a good girl. We got zoomies, or are you just too hungry? Is there zoomies? Get her, watch out, we got zoomies. Oh boy, it's a zoomie more, look out. Watch that turk turk. Oh, get zoomies. Watch out, goat. Woo! Don't get in the way of that. But look out. Oh, my goodness. Oh, she's feeling good. I love to see this. Zoomies. Whoa, look out. Watch out. <laughs> Goats, I'm telling you right now, you get hit by that. But, oh, look out. Boom. Oh, boom. Get her. I get you. I get you. Oh, boy. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, Ouija, don't do that. Now they'll follow me even if I just put dry dog food down you know I call the goats she usually stays here see Smokey she'll stay back the goats will follow me she can eat 
All right? Now, you know me. Listen, as I go along, things hit me. But somebody asked, why do you keep Smokey locked up? She looks lonely. She looks like she wants out. Well, legitimate question. I, I didn't care for the locked up. I'm all good. Let's answer the question. Smokey is a working dog. She is a livestock guardian dog. Uh, if you've watched any farming channels, that's what livestock guardian dogs do. They stay in a certain area. Some may have access to the back porch or the house, but they don't, most of them, they don't come inside, you know, and they're in an area where they watch animals. It's their job. It's what they do, okay? So, that being said, Smokey is not locked up. And another thing too, you know, this area, I don't know if, you, I, I told her, I said, you know, if you've watched my videos, the area that Smokey is in is huge. Okay, so she's got a lot of room to roam. And where she, she chooses to stay at that end, she does. I think she chooses to stay a lot at that end because that's where we are. And also that is where the other dogs are. So Smokey has a lot of area to roam around in. She is not locked up. But as some of you know too, in our uh, past videos, Smokey's gotten out three times. And I did it a couple of times. I may have done it all three times. I can't remember. But, you know, I let the gate. She snuck out. Remember that one time? She was gone for like five or six hours. And I panicked. I bawled like a baby. I just thought, oh, my gosh, she's gone forever. We can't let Smokey out and run around. Okay? She would take off. Never find her again. Not good. We're not going to do that. Okay? That is not going to happen. Now, let's put some hay in here. So I hope that addresses why Smokey's where she's at and why she is where she's at. Uh, the person wasn't being malicious. I just said when she, <laughs> why is Smokey locked up? Because you, I mean, that would mean that any dog, even a domesticated animal, if you put them behind a fence or a pen, does that mean they're locked up? You know, here's my thing. Here, hang on, honey. Hang on, buddy. Hang on. Here's my thing, too. You know, if you have a domesticated animal, a dog, you're supposed, at least around here, there's a leash law. You can't just let your animals roam about the neighborhood. All right? That's against the law. Hey, Bigfoot, can I get my, I got to get my lid, partner. Hey, dude, can I get my lid? Thanks. I can't do it with your big body sitting there. Thanks, buddy. You know, you can't just, so if I let her out, she just run in the neighborhood. I can't do that either. That, that's against the law. So they need to be behind a pen or in a fence. So that's why Smokey is uh, locked up. Okay? All in the eyes of the beholder. All right, now. How am I doing so far? Have we got everything taken care of? Oh, I think so. I got one more issue. We'll talk about that here in a minute. All right, hi girls. Let's talk about Bella and Olivia and uh, Miss Lola. Now, you don't see Miss Lola, because I guarantee, hey, oh, she, I see her. She's in her hut over there. Well, just a minute. Just a minute. Hey, did you just buy, she did. Olivia, you just nipped at me. I'm surprised Lola isn't out here. The piggy pigs. All right, here's the deal. Yeah, somebody said the other day, they said, uh, said man, those pigs don't grunt, they squeal. You get a grunt in there every now and now, hear it? There's a grunt. They do grunt. So, based upon what I saw another fella do for the pigs, I think twice a day, and here's why. He gives them, here a minute, one, and I went and got, oh, by the way, this is grandma's measuring cup. Don't tell her, I've got it. So I got to buy grandma a new measuring cup, but I put two in each one. All right. I come over here, take the cup, woo! Give him a third of a cup of the uh, alfalfa pellets. Now, let's get her water because I discovered something. You know, I, you know all the food I've been giving them. And then you mix it with water. 
and the food and the pellets swell up to like three times their normal size. And then I sit there and they eat it. And you can imagine when I, the, the amount of food I was giving them, how much, let me show you, how much they were actually getting. Well, we're gonna put this in here. We're gonna make a little mush out of it, all right? Here we go. And it may not look like much, but when you stir that up, actually, I don't look like, <laughs> hang on a second. Yeah, wait a minute, I know. But you'd be surprised. We'll give mother a little, about a half. I've done this for a couple of days now. I'll give them just a wee bit more. All right. But that really swells up and looks like quite a bit to eat. And I stir it up, let it soak in a little bit. Woo! Hey, girls, it's all right. I've learned to pretty much ignore that. You just have to. It's all right. I know we're going to get to eat here in just a minute, but we're going to stir that up. That'll swell up and really then makes a nice, good, digestible, uh-oh, sorry, squirted you, mush for them to eat, okay? Gotcha, I got you. We'll drop one here. There's one. There's two. Now, Miss Lola, Lola, honey, here, babe. Here you go, Lola. Here you go, honey. So I'm giving them less food, to be honest with you. Because I've seen them out there, even though as dry as it is, I've seen them out there rooting around and eating stuff, all three of them. So they are getting stuff. They are out there grazing, foraging. Foraging is what they're doing. Hey, Mags. Here you go, here, buddy. Mags, I didn't get you an egg. I'll go see if I can find an egg. I may have to bring you one back, partner. It's better. Where's the girls? Better call the girls over. There we go. Where's Gray? Gray, she's over there in the goat pen. See her up on top. Come on, Gray. Got to call them over. That's how you call a chicken, by the way. That's how my chickens come. All right, so now let me show you something. So, yeah, this uh, here keeps him from, yeah, see how the. See when that gets all swollen up right there? See when it soaks, the water soaks in? That yeah, really makes a lot more than meets the eye when you first put it in there. See that? So all that food I was giving them, I could imagine all that food going into their bellies and just swelling up big time, you know, and just being too full. See, Lola didn't even finish hers, but here's what happened. Here, girl, here, here, Olivia. Right there, honey, finish. They still want to switch up. So in the long run, what that means is chances are these two don't eat as fast as she does. So Lola does get more, but she is a bigger, bigger piggy. So we'll, we'll, uh, but watch her. If she run over here and run her off and she switches. Get back over there. Here, let's, yeah, eat that one. But you can see that just that little bottom layer makes a lot of food. When that expands, so I feel better about that. And that's something I didn't know. You know, I'd pour it in there, dry, or put a little water on it, walk away. But oh my goodness, I was giving him too much. Here we go. We got to give him a little bit of water here. Keep that full. I cleaned that out yesterday. Dumped it all out. Cleaned her up. Looks great. A lot of the leaves now above here are off, so it's not got very many leaves in it. That's excellent. Pretty much knew that would happen. Same for these two here. Yay, I knew that would last about a week or two, so we're golden. All right, girls, listen, I don't know where you're laying your eggs, but if you don't get any eggs for breakfast, that ain't on me, that's on you. You know what I'm saying? Where are you hiding them? I'll find them. Or they may lay some this afternoon out there. Yeah. All right, so that's it for the piggy pig, honey. I don't know what you're doing, but the food is out there with your, with your man, okay? After they eat their grain, they come right here. Same for them. They don't get as much grain as they did. They don't need it, especially in the afternoon because they'll have eaten, they'll have eaten that all day long. So there's no way they can be starving at, you know, four or five o'clock in the evening. Hey, girlfriend, you, hey, you left that in your bowl. You left that in your bowl, didn't you? Yeah, looky there. She's getting there. She ate more of the dry than the, you know, she may not like that canned dog food. I think I messed up. I didn't look and see if it was, it's the uh, ground, I'm sorry. She may like that, she's gonna like that ground up stuff better. If she don't eat that, honey, I'll go back to the store today and get some more. Doggone it, I didn't look at that. Uh, Grandma, I recorded something yesterday. Again, 
I like to record things that I do on my non-filming days for my two videos a week. And if I throw something in there, I'll videotape it and Grandma put it to a little music and speed it up. And that way you can see what we did. So I made a little video yesterday and here's what we got accomplished. Roll it, Grandma. Hey, don't do as I do, do as I say. Don't do this. Now I know it looks like a mess. <laughs> I didn't really see where I had a choice, you know? Don't like cutting up over don't like cutting up over my head, but it worked out all right. So I got that limb down. That's an old uh, like a hedge apple tree. A lot of it's dead, and it's real super hard wood, hard to cut. Everything that I wanted down on this side of the tree is pretty much cut up. And cut some of this up here. Cut these vines out. I thought about cutting these big trees up, but you know what? That's perfect for. I get these vines and things cleaned out. Those goats will come over here and climb all over these trees. So there's no sense in wasting time and labor and chainsaw blades and gasoline and all that kind of stuff on it. All right, we got her done. Great work. Look at this. If you go back and look on the video in the beginning, how it was. Now this is all cleared off right here. Got that big pile there we added to, added to that one. This looks great, folks. I left those trees. Goats will, they've already been on them playing, so... That'll give him a real good, uh, a really good play area. So I like that. We're not going to burn today. I'll probably wait for a, either an early morning or a, an, an evening, you know. And we... Okay, now that you know about that little deal, that's going to go on a lot. I'm really looking forward to it. Cleaning all that up, getting out here with my chainsaws, because every once in a while I, I get I get a little destructive. I feel like I got to tear something up. Best way for me to do it is to cut wood. I love cutting wood. Don't smoke. Yeah. Hey, listen, I gotta go do, I gotta go do chickens. Let's get some of this. I don't think they really need that, but we're gonna take some in any case. If they don't need it, I'll put it in the closet. All right, hang on. Up we go, yep. Somebody said I need to get a ladder and a step to get over that. Nah, that wouldn't be any fun. All righty, hey Nelly. Okay, chicken's turn. Yeah, besides that, I think when you watch Grandpa Adler Farms, it's kind of like waiting for that accident to happen. You know, it's not if it's gonna happen, it's when it's gonna happen. So most of you are going, oh look, now that's that submissive stance when they get down like that. But anyhow, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of pretty much an accident waiting to happen and, and uh, that's why it's fun to watch. You know what I'm saying? All right, birds, I know, listen, let's do, since I got you all here, let's do the wormy dance. I know, you ready? Let's do it before we get started, anything else. A one. A two, a one, two, three, go. 
Anybody want to dance with me? Sis, sister, no. Woo! Yay! Good job. Grandpa, we really seriously don't care about the wormy dance. Okay, if you only knew what we were thinking. All we want are the wormies. All right, here. Now, I don't know. Let's see. Let's open what's behind door number one. Now, I wet these down real good last night, and I know they're not on the bottom. You girls want to see what's under here? I can't make any promises. Get ready. Go. Any bugs? It is wet under there. All right. No bugs there. All right, here, you ready? In case there's a mouse. Everybody get ready. One, two, three. Ah, nothing. Nothing. All right, let's try this one since it's flat on the ground. Ready, sit, go. Nothing. Rats. Or not even rats. Here, let's just dump that water out where it lays. Where it lays. Okay, that's fine. They are drinking out of this a little bit. I am going to have to, like somebody suggested, I think, I'd put a little, I'd put a little peanut butter on there uh, to kind of encourage, because some of them are, some of them aren't, and I know probably as long as I have this one full, since they're used to it, they may not drink out of that one at all. Uh, so we'll, uh, but we'll work on it. You know, it's not supposed to get real cold for a week or so. I think we're actually going to be back up in the 70s. You know that we had that really nice rain a few days ago. Right, let me get your water, then we'll do the wormies, all right? Hang on a minute. I got to get their, I got to get their wormies for them. That's what they're waiting on. You're fine. I just love a captive audience. There we go. Here 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 we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh oh, it's on you, Ellie May. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Somebody's sitting in there. Somebody's be sitting there on the throne. Somebody in there on the throne? Hmm? Now, I'm not giving them as many wormies. Trying to sit here. Oh, Nellie, honey, I'm sorry. You need, she, she wormies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Some of you wonder why I count them every day because I want to make sure everybody's here. I'll, I'll go find somebody. Now, here's what I've done for my birds, you know, because some of them are still missing their feathers. Today's Friday. Actually, this afternoon, I have three, I ordered three of those saddle dresses for the chickens. I'm going to put one on Ellie Mae, one on Hot Lips. Oh, don't, hey, uh, Laverne, stop, uh, Daisy. That's enough of that. There's plenty to go around. I'm going to put them on three of the birds. Uh, these are ones they are called from Chicken Chicks, and I got them on Amazon. They cover, because uh, some of you got me some, I still have them, but these cover a bigger section, and they're buttoned on, and they got the strap, they're buttoned on. And this, this lady said on there, she said, I've tried all of them. Everyone, she said, I like these the best. They're camel colored, so if they go out here, you know, I'm not going to put a bright pink or anything like that because I think it kind of makes them targets for aerial predators. So we're going to we're going to try that. So I'm going to do that, cover that up. Uh, as you know, I've been doing some. Uh, I put uh, the oyster shell stuff in their food over here, so they get some of that for their calcium. Uh, I, I uh, also bought some aloe vera powder. Someone recommended that also for their for their health internally. And somebody said they made a really good point. She says, you know, when you implement a change, give it a few weeks. You know, see if there's a change. You know, it's not going to happen overnight before you go on to something else. I 100% agree with that. Uh, she said, don't just dump your oyster shells in a thing for them to pick on, mix it in with their feed, because maybe too, too much of that is, is not good. So anyway, it makes a real good point. So right now, I've cut them back on the wormies to help with their bellies. Uh, and so we'll, we'll run with that. Hi, honey. Hi, hi dear. Hi, Goldie. Hi. So we're going to run with that. Girls, you're okay. Shh, you're okay. Yeah. Uh, we're going to run with that, and I'm going to put the aloe vera uh, powder in, in the water. And uh, so we'll, we'll run with that, change it up from the apple cider vinegar because I did that a long time. But you know what? They're all even, you know, look at hot lips there. Her, her bear. I'm going to cover that up because apparently something still is happening. And it's not getting worse, but it's not getting better. So we're going to cover that up, make her feel better. Hey, Lime, hi, honey. Oh, Ginger. So, oh, hey, Blondie. And so we'll go from there. Anyhow, uh, you know, they're, they're, they're doing okay. 
uh, we have uh, Harrietta. She, she was the one that lost a lot of feathers on the back of her neck and they're kind of coming back in. So I don't know, she, she's, she's doing pretty good. You can see right here, see, she still drinks out of the bowl. And so I got to train her to that. Anyway, folks, that is a lot of information. You know, when you watch me, I don't, some of you may get a little bit of an education, but you got to remember, you know, I haven't been doing this a long, long time. So I still, some things are just common sense. Ellie Mae, honey, the grandpa shut that door. Thank you. You know, some things I do are just common sense. And most things I do are some things that I've heard and I've read. Just trying to do the best I can. I don't think there's any eggs up here. Hey, my girls, listen. Oh, no, no. Any eggs in here? No. I have went back to, I bought, so I had two. I went back to the uh, uh, pre-made, that's a broken shell in there. Broken shell. I don't know if that was a whole egg or not. Somebody broke brick an egg. I don't give them any eggs anymore. They don't like it, but, you know, they, I'm, I'm, I'm done with that. I've gone back, I bought some more at Atwood yesterday. I'm going back to the pre-made pre nesting. They have a tendency to dig that straw out and I keep replacing it, so I'll put these in there. Uh, I have not put any sand in here like uh, some of you suggested yet. I'm going to, I am going to do that. I just haven't, uh, I haven't done it. I'm going to use that thing, that, that, that water tank that I cut off. I'm going to use that thing and uh, I'll put some sand in that. I just haven't got, got around to it. Oh, one thing I did do, hang on a minute. Hang on, let me show you, hang on. Uh, let me keep you up to date. I gotta keep you up to date. I know it's a lot of information, but hang in there. All right, here's what I did. You know this swing thing? Now, the old, I had those others up there. I came in here and I made my own. I just took a two before. That's a little tottery though. I don't know if they'll get up there or not, but I just took a two before, strung it across there, got rid of all the little doodads, hung that up there. Now, I have not seen any birds on there yet, but for darn sure, they weren't getting on it the other way. Let's see, if I got them all taken care of, I can go out this gate, can I? I can go out this way. For a lot of you that have never seen this, remember I've got 10 by 20, 10 by 20, and that is a 10 by, 10 by 40 over there. Uh, actually a little bit more that they can get around in. They got three different chambers that they can go in and hang out. And, and of course, then they, got all, then they got all the free range area out here, so. But anyway, the swing thing, they weren't going on it the other way, so I just figured, you know, I just I just take it out. So take those two down. That was about a 30, $35 adventure there that didn't quite work, but it's all right. I'll use them for something. So I put the two before in there. If they get on that, fine. If they don't, that's fine. You know, there's really nothing else I can do on that deal. All right. By the way, a lot of you said, hey, take that hay and compost. You know, you can save it and all that. Yeah, I know. See that right there? I dump all that there. That's chicken poo and goat poo and hay and uh, straw. And it's all going to go in my garden. That's my next project this week. I'm going to go over there and take all that stuff out of the raised beds. It's done. Throw some of that in there. Let her start melting down for next year. We'll go, go garden again. Okay. I think everybody's golden here. I think we've talked about everything that we need to cover. Kudos to Grandma, Grandma Leanne. I'm here to tell you, you can see just just by the way I am. You know, I'm like that proverbial uh, <laughs> gas in the whirlwind, and y'all know what I'm talking about. Ga hang on, I'm coming, smoke. This is empty. Gas in the whirlwind. You know what I'm saying? Only there's another word. Hats off to Grandma for doing a good job editing these videos, because I am all over. And it takes her all day to do, to do it. Bless her heart. I'm horrible. But that's how I am. I've always been that way. Grandma will tell you. My kids will tell you. I think, I don't know who inherited that from me. Which one for sure. Oh, I know Kyle did. I know Kyle did. You watch Kyle's videos. He's good. He, he, he's like me, man. He, he get off on the train track and go, go, go. Okay, now, the third thing we're going to talk about. A lot of you say, what are you going to do after your retire, Grandpa? Are you going to start another, going to put out another video? And uh, I said, I don't know. I don't know. Well, got to talking about the Grandma, talking about with Chad. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to start a third, a second, I beg your pardon, I've got Grandpa Adler Farms. I'm going to start another channel called Grandpa's Shorts. Okay? Uh, I don't know what day it's going to be on, what, what, but 
uh, the reason I'm going to call it Grandpa Shorts, it is not going to have big, long videos. You know, it could be 30 seconds, 60 seconds, three minutes, four minutes. The, the reason I'm doing it is, number one, I'm going to have time. Grandma doesn't have to edit it. I edit it myself. A lot of you do not have Instagram. You don't have Facebook. You don't have TikTok. You don't want to get on Facebook. You don't want to get on Instagram. You know, YouTube is all you want to do. Well, if, you're, if that's all you want to do, and that's fine. I have no problem with that. But what you miss out on is I put on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok little 30-second, 60-second clips that I don't show in my normal videos, you know? And something not like, like I'm out here feeding the animals on an off day that I don't normally film a long video, and uh, something will happen, and I'll film it, boom, I throw it on Instagram. Those of you on YouTube, they don't get to see it. So what I'm going to do now with this YouTube Shorts, Grandpa Shorts channel, I will be able to put those on there. I'm going to put those on there for you, okay? So now if you're on YouTube only, you're going to get to see all of that, okay? And we'll call it, <laughs> we'll call it Grandpa Shorts. What you doing? I'm going to call it Grandpa Shorts. Also on that channel, I'm also going to do uh, things that I wouldn't normally do on my regular farm channel, you know, and I don't know what that's going to be. I'm not, I, I can't tell you any specifics. But there's, I'll just be able to just give me the freedom to do other things that I wouldn't do on this channel, Grandpa Adler Farms, okay? But that's what it's going to be. I'm really excited about it. Uh, so, yes, there's going to be uh, another video other than the two that I normally put out. Everybody will get to see them. I don't care what medium, what platform you're on, you're going to get to see it. You guys are the reason that this goes. I get so much pleasure out of reading your comments. The relationship that we have i feel like i know you uh, just by your comments and we've some of us some of you have been on here now for ever since the beginning even before i had my own channel we were talking so we've gotten pretty tight we're all pretty tight right and that's why i do this i do this you know the rest of this what i do every day i would do it every day but the things that makes it special hey girlfriend hi how are you good to see you that's my girl yeah, that's my girl. I make it special, Grandpa. Whoa! <laughs> there we go. Not you. You're the reason it goes. Yeah, you're the reason it goes. That's right. Get you. Zoomies. Zoomies. Now, she's had a little bit of time since she's eaten, so she can get the zoom. I'm going to get you. Look yeah, Get the zoomies. Oh, that's what we love to see. We love the zoomies. Going to get you. And then we play the get you. Get you, get you, get you. You all are the ones that make this thing go. Uh, I just enjoy the heck out of it. You know, I think a lot of you... And I hope this is true, that whatever I'm doing, if I'm petting Smokey, I'm feeding the chickens, I'm feeding the goats, I'm cutting down wood, I want you to be, this camera is about two feet away from my face right now. And that's how, well, you don't need to be two feet away from my face, but that's how close I want you to be. I want you to feel like you're doing these things with me every day, every moment. That's what this is about. Look, folks, I've watched a lot of YouTube back in the day, but it was always how-to videos. I didn't know what a relationship video was. I didn't watch homesteading videos. I didn't, and I do now, and I get it. This is a relationship video. We build relationships through these channels. You guys watch me from all over the world, United States, and you know, you're petting Smokey with me. You can imagine what she feels like. She's all fluffy, she's clean, she's gaining weight, she's putting her winter coat on, and she's happy, and we give her kisses. We give her kisses, and that's what I want everybody to feel. I want you to feel like you're right here with me. And that is, uh, that's exciting for me. It's, it's, it's heartwarming for me, and I, and I hope it is for you. And you guys are just wonderful with your comments. And uh, I feel like we're just, we are, the, we are a family. I would love to meet all of you. You know, next year the Hokie Homestead is in the 1st of June. And I tell you what, I am already cranked up about that, even though it's about, what, eight, nine months away. I'm looking forward to that. And it's a two-day event, and I am, I'm pumped. So, yeah, it's, it's, we, it's, it's, it's an amazing thing. Uh, uh, I, I am a student of YouTube. I study YouTube. I, I know the ins and outs and the facts and the figures and what it takes to make it go. But the bottom line, the bottom line, as a YouTube creator, you must have that relationship with your audience. The audience is the most important thing. We are Adler Farms family. As you watching KNS get out, Kyle and Shannon, watching Chad and Ray and the boys, uh, Ray's Ranch and Rescue, we are, we are Adler Farms family. And how cool will it be next June 
or whenever we go down to the uh, Oki Homestead and all three of us are there and, and we can meet the rest of our family members that can come, you know. I just wanted to just tell you how much, we, how, much we all, how much we love you, you know. Folks, we love her and we love you guys. Thank you so much from the bottom, bottom of our hearts. Uh, I could not be doing this right now and uh, uh, doing this five days a week without you guys and your support. But we'll, I'll keep working hard, you keep working hard, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll see each other one day. Somebody said the day, said, Grandpa, you didn't wave goodbye. Until next time, everybody, God bless you. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Two hand goodbye, see you later. Until next time, bye 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 bye. She gone.